Can you remember a time where somebody on purpose decided to ruin their reputation like Drew Barrymore is doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> Someone that universally was very beloved. Uh, yeah, Kevin Spacey. That's not ruining his own reputation. <laughs> oh, he ruined his reputation. No, but not like... He did... He you made, mean he, just he a, a workplace... Yeah, you just you just mean a workplace decision Someone that ruins your reputation. Like Bill Cosby or right, like Kevin right, Spacey. right, right, right. Somebody that was like, "I'm beloved. I'm just gonna fuck that over right now." Yeah, no. Uh, in fact, uh, the anti Drew Barrymore is Jamie Lynn Spears, who's going to be on Dancing with the Stars and has said she's donating her entire salary to the SAG After Fund and the WGA Fund to support the striking writers and SAG I'm not people. That. Which Dancing with the Stars, by the way. Um, they don't fall. They fall under reality contest shows. They don't fall under scripted television like Drew Barrymore does. And to double down on the badness that she's doing, she's trying to convince people she's a news show. Yeah, yeah. You're not Drew. I don't know who from her team decided, like, tried to convince her that this was a good idea, but it's definitely not, and will backfire. <laughs> Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for your Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe, like, button. It's, um, it's doubly bothersome, triply bothersome, when you consider the fact that she's been in the industry since she was a kid, and her father is a legend in this industry. So if there's anybody that ought to be setting a good example, it would be someone... producer? No, Drew Lionel Barrymore was an actor. He's an actor. Yeah. But is he a producer now? No, he has passed away. No. Yeah, good. Uh, today we got <laughs> we got a uh, live uh, performance of Mitoa. Um, here's a live performance of Mitoa sung by Shankar Mahavadan. You've reacted to Esther Kanrani's song. I have enjoyed it. Yep. Um, oh, this version has a classical twist to it. Okay. And also, I don't know if you remember Mitoa. I do. Mitoa. Yeah. I was just gonna do Mitua. it. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, but this is from. Um, which we still haven't seen. <laughs> uh, Can't wait to watch it one day. Um, but I do remember the song. It was a great song. I it, it, it's one of the ones that stuck in my memory. Even though I don't even, it may, I don't think it's on my playlist. But it's definitely one that stuck in my memory. Me too. Uh. Also, I don't recall Shankar Mahavadan being the singer, but I'm an idiot. So well, there's that. I I don't remember because I just I just don't remember. Here we go. Oh, he cut them off. <laughs> you expected them to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Rishi Kapoor. He does a little bit. Do I? 
me to I can't, I don't know the words. Me to Sounds like a sitar. On the guitar? Yeah, on the electric guitar. when you said there was a wonderful little classical twist. Me too. Ah. Man. Ah. You think if he was my guru, I could sing like him? No. Ah. Okay. I do not. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tried. Ugh. That was a difficult listen. I'll tell you that. That was so great. Ended too soon. The end there. I could have just kept listening to that for <laughs> indefinite amount of time. Just so so talented. Um, it's also just so um, always so interesting because he was like belting, but it didn't feel like it looked like he was exerting that much energy. No, into it, but it. <laughs> It he is. Like it was. He is. But that's because he's he's properly trained. Yeah, but that's like most great Indian classical players, singers, musicians, whatever. It's like it's like you're saying, just, like, just going like this. <laughs> it's like this yeah, insane earthquake I mean, of a music is going on. It's it's an attribute of all excellence that it looks easy 
and it's tremendously difficult. But there's an ease with which yeah, the ones when, that are good at it can can make it look. When Freddie so Mercury easy. is belting, it looks like he's belting. That's why it's different. Well, yes, but that's th- that's true. But I don't know that that would be the case when he was in studio. I think that's also part of what's going on with a, he's in. You know, he's rock and roll. I mean, you're not going to see Freddie Mercury just stand there and make it look effortless. I mean, part of what he does is performative with expre- being expressive. Um, but but even, in, even in the midst of that, he still makes it look effortless compared to, to other people. That's true. Yeah. Even somebody like Steven Tyler, which I hope he gets well, he hurt his vocal cords. So the tour that they're on right now, it's amazing to me that the man could even still sing his songs at his age. All that cocaine. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but... Um, that they they still make it look easy. Yeah. You know, they still, the great ones make it look easy. Yeah. Absolutely insanity. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, what a great, thank you for that selection because it was nice. It was just neat to have that song and hear it again and let the audience sing with it. But then for it to go into what it did in the second half was wonderful. Ah. That was great. Thank you. No, not you. Uh, anyways, let us know what other Shankar Mahavadan uh, live performances songs that we should react to are down below. Just-